Moving on to the number one returning production team in the entire country, the Toledo Rockets. Jason Candle is still the coach there. They've got 21 out of 22 starters returning. They only lost four players total from last year. They yeah. bring everybody back. And the four players that lost, one was a starter. The other ones were like third-string guys. Yeah, rotational I mean, guys. They got everybody back. Co-DC's Vince Karras and Craig Kuligowski have completely turned around this defense. Yeah, they used to Big be time a score, stuff. score, score, can't stop anybody. Oh, yeah. Schedule sets up only two projected losses. But, uh, but you know, at Central Michigan, at Ohio, those are toss-ups. Uh, their win total is over eight and a half. SP Plus has them projected going eight and four. FPI has them going nine and three. They went four and two in the shortened season last year. Win total is eight and a half. Uh, juiced at 115 to the over and the under. Um, I like this team to go over. I do too. I like this team a lot. It, getting When you start getting into needing nine wins from a team who historically doesn't win nine games, it's scary. Oh, yes. But yes. I think I'm with you. I do think I'm with you. Yeah. I, I think – so they play at Notre Dame. That'll probably be a loss. Right. They play at Ball State. Probably a loss. However, Norfolk State, Colorado State, at UMass, uh, I mean, that's the other part of their non-con. Like, that's three wins there. Do I think they can beat Northern Illinois? Do I think that they can beat Eastern Michigan, Bowling Green, Akron? Like, yes. Yes, 100%. I think that they can get to nine wins. I'm uh, I'm all over them. I'm all over them. So you're, you're rolling the same? Over. Yeah, I'm going to roll the same. The nine nine does scare me. Oh, absolutely. But I, I do think this is the year, like I'll tell you this, they get to nine and three or even ten and two. I think Jason Candle, first train out of Dodge. Yeah, you're probably right. He's Hell been yeah, there no, for a long yeah, he's, time. He's holding a lottery ticket so, in. He, uh, he's the one that took over after Matt Campbell. That's right. So that's the way it goes. All right, and last team. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.